saw a few weeks ago, I saw that there is an increased number of people going to the gym and I realized that oh it's mostly young people students who in summer break and now are trying to get in shape then I realized that yeah I should make a video but then I forgot about it but anyway this is a video that I want to share my uh, the thing that I have learned over the past few years of exercising the most important thing is that keep it simple simple is the best that go for exercise and diet for exercise the most simple one is doing calisthenic however the environment is not really a motivating one i guess because you can do calisthenic at home at first it's okay to do it like you don't really need to spend much money if you're a beginner just do five push up at home that's totally fine but the more you try to motivate yourself to do more, your home is not a really good environment. And as for the park, it also comes down to whether you have one or not. Uh, I really shy and in the park near me, most are children. So I don't know, it feel weird to be that guy. So which is why I go to the gym. I do weight training, but mostly calisthenic at the gym. I think it's fine. The gym is the best environment for working out because it's really the thing that is built for that so yeah for weight training i think this one is a very complicated thing that people starting to make it i suggest you give this video a watch because it broke down the aspect of over complicated thing for weight training what you need to do is just search for a plan that works with your schedule and then stick to it pay attention to your form so you don't get any injury you should try to get that mind and muscle connection what it is, it's just what exercise you are doing for which muscle. So you try to feel that muscle is working. Like if you are working on your chest, then try your best to feel your chest pumping or feel your chest muscle or something like that. Work on your entire body. Don't forget leg day. Do cardio. Go for a walk regularly and you should be good. As for dieting, I think that it doesn't really need to be that complicated. You can just keep eating what you are eating, especially if you don't have control over your diet. Just focus on weight training and you should be good. If you try to lose weight, then eat less than what you are eating right now. To gain weight, eat more. Simple as that. Always pay attention to the healthy aspect of it. You need carb, protein, vegetable, and fruit. You don't need any supplement. Remember to eat what you enjoy. But yeah, that's it. Sleep well, train well, eat healthy, reduce your sugar intake, and you should be good. Also remember that everyone is different. So don't care about other people's body. Just focus on yourself. It is okay if you don't have a six pack. I think that people emphasize on the six pack way too much. All you need to do is probably stay lean at a certain body fat and it should be good. Don't be discouraged if you see some extra fat on your belly when you try to gain weight. It's supposed to happen like that, I think. <laughs> I do not know if workout course do workout or not, no pun intended. But if you just do this for fun, like a hobby, then I don't think you should spend a lot of money on supplement or workout course. Try to keep it on the minimum, try to not waste your money on it. I think that working out is a very healthy and enjoyable hobby to have. It could even be fun, at least for me it is. Lifting weight, you know, I enjoy doing that. Doing calisthenic move, really enjoy when you see that progression. And yeah, I do enjoy sweating in the gym or in the bed. And it should stay like that for most people. You should never do drug or enhancement drug. Those drugs that, you know, help your body and stuff like that just don't. It's not good for you. It's never good for anyone. Be polite with other people. That go without saying. But I guess some people just really forget about that. Yeah, enjoy it. Have fun with it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.